Hi, my name is Damaris and I'm with Crown Bees. And Crown Bees is teaming with 4-H for the Native Bee Challenge. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make your native bee nest. So I'll show you what all the different parts are. You have a PVC tube. One end is flat and the other end is cut at an angle so that there's a roof um, to help keep the bees and the nesting materials dry. And then there's an end cap to put on the flat side to keep all of the nesting tubes secure in the back. And each kit comes with 14 paper bee tubes. And they're three different sizes because native bees come in many different sizes. And they're all looking for a nesting hole that's just the right size for their species. So the only problem is these bee tubes are open-ended on both sides and bees do not like that. They're less likely to nest inside of a, a nesting tube that's open-ended. So we're going to fix that problem with some mason bee mud mix. We're gonna put clay on the back side of each of the bee tubes. And then we'll rubber band it together and put all of the tubes into the native bee nest. So we're gonna use our mason bee mud mix and you can get this on our website, crownbees.com. It is um, under accessories and it's $4.95 and there's plenty of um, clay mud for all of the kits that you'll be making with your group. The instructions on the box say to use half a cup of water. We're gonna use a little less than that because I wanna be able to roll out the clay and make it nice and flat so that I can stick the bee tubes in. And I wanna flatten it out so that it's about a quarter inch thick. So we're gonna add mud to the end of each bee tube one by one. It's better to put a little extra mud on there because it might shrink a little when it dries. If you have mason bees naturally in your yard or near your garden or your farm, this is the kind of clay mud that they like to gather and this is what you'll find on the other end of your tubes when the bees nest inside. So I've got mud on the back end of all of my bee tubes. So I'm gonna put the rubber band on. I wanna do it twice so that the tubes are really snug together. Put the bee tubes with the open end facing out. And then put it in all the way towards the back. And when we install this on a, on a tree, a fence, or a wall, some, someplace sturdy, we're gonna install it at a slight downward angle so that rain doesn't get in. But when you do that, the tubes might fall out. So we're gonna use some sticks to wedge the, the bee tubes inside. I'm just putting in as many as I can so it, and it feels pretty secure and snug. Each kit has a sticker that has a unique identification number printed on it. These are weatherproof. I want to put this on the side and I want it in a spot so it's easy to see when I, when I hang it and install it. So this unique identification number helps us geolocate your native bee nest on the native bee network map app. It also helps you remember where you installed your nest. If you have multiple Native Bee Network nest sites, the identification number will help you keep track of each site and it will help you um, go to exactly where you installed the nest, make observations. When you take this down in the fall and take a look at what's nested inside, you'll be able to put it back in the same spot. So that's how you put together your Native Bee nest. Uh, thank you for participating in the Native Bee Network. We hope that you have a lot of fun putting these kits together with your group. We're really excited to work with the next generation of farmers, gardeners, and growers.